Muling pagbabalik din sa ating channel for today's presentation on general mathematics quarter 1, week 1, last 1A about representations of functions. Ito ang ating mga pamaraan to determine uh, whether or not the given relation is a function. So we have a set of order pairs, table of values, mapping diagram, graph, and the equations. Ilalarawan muna natin how relations and functions are the same and how they are different. So, let us define first what is relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. So, ito yung halimbawa ng ating relations. It composed of different values in a quantity. So, we have here the i and 4 up to h and 4. When we describe the set of ordered pairs, so kailangan natin maintindihan yung domain and range. To define the domain in our relations, that is the set of first coordinate. coordinate. So usually written in the x values. The x values in our quantity. So it, in our first quantity, our domain here is i then our next uh, quantity l o b e m e t h kung itanong sa inyo what is the domain of the relation so you can write into the set of these values so first the i the next l o b e m a t h so, that is the set of values for the domain of a relation. And for our range, so, uh, ang range naman natin, the range of a relation, the set of secant coordinates. So, usually written in the y values in a, or the secant coordinates in a quantity, and that is 4. So, after the first uh, coordinate that is second uh, 4 5 6 8 3 6 2 8 4 okay yan ang ating range of the relation so mara natin may sulat into the set of order set of values so we have two we can write in ascending order then next three then napansin natin meron tayong same values here for the range so you may write it uh, once then 5 also so 6 we have the same value so 6 and 8 okay but you may write it once so we have this range of the relation that is the set of values 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 and this is spe special kinds of relation tawag nito is functions a function is a relation in which uh, each element of the domain uh, corresponds to exactly element one element of the range. So, ibig sabi nito, so bawat element ng ating uh, domain or uh, for each element in a domain uh, corresponds exactly one value in the range. Maari din natin ay represent ang relations uh, by uh, mapping diagram. Okay, ang mapping diagram where the elements of the domain are mapped to the elements of the range using arrows. In this case, the members of the domain ay uh, tinatawag natin ang uh, inputs and the members of the range ay tinatawag natin outputs, arrows ang ginagamit natin to describe the correspondence in the functions. Okay, ito yung ang members ng ating uh, domain. And we have also the members of the elements of the range. Yan. Okay, uh, then each elements of the domain corresponds with the elements of the range using arrows. So, ito yung ating uh, set of ordered pairs. So, first, we have the I corresponds to 4. Then, next is L corresponds to 5. Then, uh, O corresponds to 6. V corresponds to 8. E corresponds to 3. M corresponds to 6. A corresponds to 2. T is to 8. 
it's to four so its element of the domain corresponds exactly one value of the range so this relations i tinatawag nothing uh, or we may consider this relation is a function okay meron tayong sample here a uh, relation but not function since uh, functions is a relation but not all relations is a functions so meron tayong example dito a relation it's uh, given a set of ordered pairs so we can easily determine that this relation is not a function by simply locking the elements of the domain that is two so we have the same value here two but this is uh, corresponds or map to two values dapat exactly one value lamang tayo for to make it functions to make it clear uh, gawin natin to illustrate in the mapping diagram so we have the elements here for the domain so for 3 8 2 then 5 and the uh, elements of the range so we have g e t c a k then uh, 4 uh, corresponds to g and 3 corresponds to e 8 corresponds to t but we have here the 2 corresponds to 2 values of the range so uh, 2 map to c and another the value of element map to a and we have the 5 to k so we have here what that is called the one to many so this relation is not functions okay so meron tayong illustrative example to determine whether or not the each element is a functions so we have here the given relation so a set of uh, ordered pairs and to determine this relation the functions or not so list down muna natin yung domain so that is that are the values of 1 2 3 4 and the range is 2 5 10 17 by definitions of function dapat ang each element of the domain correspond exactly one value sa range so napansin naman natin dito yung domain and range so this is a function for number 2, so we have the here, the order pair. So, by looking at each element of the domain, so we have here the same value of 2 and correspond to 2 values of the range. And we have also 3 corresponds to 2 values of the elements of the range. So, list down mo natin to make it clear, domain and the range. By uh, observing the elements or uh, elements of three, it corresponds to two values in the elements of range. So, dalawa yung value ng range. So, we have also the two corresponds also to two values or in the elements of the range. So, dapat isang value lamang sa range. So, this is not a function. Okay, for number three, so we can describe also the relation by equation. So we have the x squared plus y squared minus four is equal to zero. Then to solve for y, write the original equations. Then transpose the negative four to other side, so maging positive four. Then to solve for y, so I transfer naman natin yung x squared, so maging negative x squared. Then squaring both sides to eliminate the square to may one yung y then that is positive and negative square to 4 minus x squared to substitute all the values of x here so marin natin makuha ang value ng y then it's either positive or negative so to illustrate so for every value of x there's corresponds the y sub 1 that is positive and also the y sub 2 that is negative so the long value ng y that is not a function okay for number four so we have also the graph so we can illustrate or represent the relation by graph so 
to determine this uh, relation is a function or not, so we have the vertical line test. Ang tawag nito, vertical line test. Ibig sabihin nito, a graph represents a function if and only if uh, no vertical line intersects the graph in more than one point. Okay, isang uh, point lamang para matawag nating function. So, by uh, vertical line test, so gawa tayo ng line that is vertically aligned. So, okay, kahit saan uh, position natin, then that is uh, one point. Okay, it intersect this uh, graph in just one point. So, y is a function of x. So, that is a function. Okay, so this graph is a function by using the vertical line test. Okay, for another uh, graph. So, we have here the graph then uh, by using the vertical line test. So, let us make the uh, vertical line. So, kahit saan dito na position, it's either the first or second quadrant. So, yan. Meron makita na yung dalawang point. It intersects the graph in more than one point. So, meron tayong dalawang point ito. Intersections of two points on the graph. So, y is not a function of y. Since uh, two values of y, dalawa yung value ng y corresponds to x value. So, that is not a function. Okay, so andito na tayo sa ating learning activity sheet. So, the last number, uh, 1A, the representation of function. So, for A, determine whether or not its relation is a function. So, given natin, we have the relations here. And for little b, state uh, whether or not its relation is a function. So, we have the uh, mapping diagram and table and also we have the graph and the equation